What is going on, Meta Millionaires slash Stock Market Bulls and Bears? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip. All right, guys, we're here to talk about Meta. We do got some updates. Uh, we got some great stuff to cover today. Uh, did you all know Meta Materials has a YouTube page? I just found this out the other day. I was planning on how to maybe bring this information to you guys, and we got that for today's video. We're going to cover a video that they got on their YouTube channel that kind of goes together with this new um, publicity that they do got out right now, and we're going to go over that. So let's get to it here. If we go over here to, we can go to George's here first. George's Twitter page, very excited to welcome Darren as our new VP Business Development. He joins us from Google, 30 years experience and will lead at Meta Materials Business Vertical, which includes augmented reality, applications, AR, see the future, AR Fusion, and there is an article here. Also, they do have this posted on the Meta Materials actual Twitter page. Scroll down here. Here it says, Meadow appoints Darren as Vice President in Business Development uh, of Oflamix. I guess I pronounced that right, guys. Sorry if I butchered it. But here they do have an article. Meta AR Fusion Solving Challenges of Fashionable, functional, Functional AR Smart Glasses. So if you click that, it'll take you to this link. And this link here is on Meta's uh, news page. It's under their uh, news. So Meta AR Fusion Solving Challenges Fashionable Function AR Smart Glasses. You've seen it in the movies. The hero, superhero, or cyborg views the world through a visor or smart glasses. The system superimposes all kind of useful, spatly aware information onto the surroundings, giving him or her critical guidance or even superpowers. Meanwhile, here in the real world, we must still look down at our smartphone screens. All the big players in the mobile ecosystem, hardware, OS, apps, e-commerce, social media platforms, and advertisers want to be there when we put down our phones and put on the AR smart glasses. What will it take to make the vision real? And I do want to cover here kind of this next part as well, I think it's pretty interesting. It says there's two major challenges. First of all, the smart technology and electronics must fit into the format of traditional eyewear. So the AR smart glasses are stylish, lightweight, comfortable, and don't make you look like a cyborg. Second, the augmented reality display and other components like eye tracking, cameras, and sensors must be embedded within the prescription lenses because more than 50% of potential users require vision correction, including your boy here. That's right, I got my glasses on. At Meta, we are developing AR Fusion, which combines precision cache lenses, fabricated tools, and functional Meta services to provide AR wearable developers with a platform and seamlessly integrated smart technologies into thin, lightweight prescription glasses. That is exciting, guys. Um, there's a, this is a pretty big article. I kind of wanted to go over the two initial paragraphs, but down here they do have the AR Fusion Lens Casting compared to the traditional Freedom Servicing, and it does kind of go over here, you know, what, how they are different. And like I said, this article is pretty huge, guys. There is a lot of information on here, so please go check out this article. You can get to it on the Meta page, or you can get to this from the Twitter. You can go to George's Twitter, you can get this link, and you can also go to Meta's Twitter and get this as well. So, if we go back here to George where he says he's excited to welcome Darren, well, I went on Google and typed in this gentleman here, Darren, and I typed his whole name and put Google at the end. And it brings me to his LinkedIn page. And you can see he has his about him here, and he's been with Meta starting as of right now. He's in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and he has a pretty well good a lot of experience here in his background. So here you can see he's the Vice President uh, of Development in Meta, started here in July. Um, here he was a consultant at the Mainland Optical Services. He had over six years experience at Optical Services. And here where he worked at Manufacturing Engineer at Google um, at June 2020. And I think he just left Google, which it says to present. I don't think that's updated yet, but there it is. That's what he did. He was there to present at Google. So when they said he came from Google, that is pretty exciting, guys. And 
You can go down here and check his LinkedIn page. The man is very well qualified. He has a lot of sales, manufacturing, optical experience. So, and you can see that he has optical right there. So I think that he is gonna bring a lot to the table for Meta. And I'm super excited what Darren can bring to us here, guys. I think this is super exciting because we did see that Meta Materials was hiring and they found someone from Google to fill that role. And that is super exciting. But let's get in here on Meta Materials YouTube page. That's right. This is their video they just posted yesterday. It's a minute and 20 seconds long. And let's kind of watch this. And I got the volume muted because it was just music and I don't want to get copyright strikes, so I'm going to talk over as we watch this video. Here you got the Meta Air. The ultimate aviation laser glare protection eyewear. Here you can see, laser strikes in aviation can distract and even harm pilots during their flight. Over the last five years, we have about 40,000 laser incidents reported to the FAA, the UK Civil, oh, they're going fast, and close to 200 eye injuries reported to the FFA. Tested by industry designed by pilots. Look at them, man. They are sleek looking. They are sexy looking. I like the way they look. They are they are sharp looking, man. Look at that. The logo on there and all. Wow, I would wear those. I would definitely wear those. Those are pretty sweet, guys. And I think they do show an example here. Yes. If a laser hits these glasses, check that out. How it reflects off. It does not go through the lenses. Check that out. There's the light, and boom, the laser is going back off the lenses. Right there, man, that is some phenomenal technology to have that laser bounce off and it would not blind the user behind those glasses. I think that is pretty significant that they're gonna have that there. Co-developed with Airbus, Meta Air. There it is, Meta Mastering Light. So guys, go hit a subscribe here to Meta Materials Inc. They do have a bunch of videos if you go here. They only have 1.28 thousand subscribers. Um, I am subscribed as you see there. I got the bell notification on. So I did get that notification. Now, a little tidbit here. There was an interview with George on one of these videos that I am gonna come back in a later video and talk about because he does mention some things I think are fairly interesting. So. I am going to cover that where he talks about the EVs and stuff, and maybe that could just be a little bit more hints about getting into EVs, whether it's going to be possibly with Tesla or any other EV company um, maker. So let's see, let's run down real quick. We covered the meta page. We got the update on that. We kind of covered the article. Make sure you go read the whole article. Told you about the Meta Materials official YouTube page. We went over Georgia's. Twitter page. We went over Darren, the new hire, on his LinkedIn page. We covered the stock right now. It is going down today, but it's a great time. If you saw my video yesterday, I talked about buying options out, long options to January of 2022. It is possibly a great time to pick up a couple. And if this thing shoots up, we can make some great money. So go check out that Patreon link down below. And guys, I'm going to end it here on my official Twitter page. So here it is. Uh, thank you to everyone that did uh, follow me. I think I got about like 30 some followers um, since yesterday's video on my Twitter page. And 268 followers right now and my official Twitter page is at TerryZ247. Please make sure that it says exactly that, nothing different. I did just tweet nine minutes ago, a video will be out soon on my YouTube channel. The link in my bio, MMAT Meta Updates. If you click the link right there, it'll take you right to my YouTube channel. So guys, like I said, make sure, make sure you go follow me on Twitter. I will put this down at the pinned comments of the video you are watching. Sometime here in the very near future, I may have a tweet come out. I may have something scroll up in one of my videos of some words coming up telling you a window of time where you can join the Patreon for free. That's right. So, gonna be super exciting. Make sure you are following me on Twitter. Make sure you're watching these videos the whole way through because something may pop up and give you hints and when you can join the Patreon for free. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Check out the links down below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.